right, so we are making, we're making magic happen. <laughs> we're making magic happen right there. We got the arms done, which are most of them, which looks great. We've got our boulder set for the post. Looks like they're working on the pergola now. You made the decision to work on this, which is smart. I saw you just moving the right corner of that rock back. Is the patio gonna line up yeah, to yeah, the yeah. back? Come check this out. Okay, cool. If we can bring our patio into this and then into here, it forces the patio guys to cut the patio around it. I like doing that because it makes the rocks look like they were born here. And to do that, you have to use a huge boulder. Yeah. And the option is, instead of moving this giant rock, let's just look, make the rock look like it took a bite out of the patio, yeah. right? It's the little details that make it look so much It better. makes the hardscape guys look lazy. <laughs> You know? Yeah. <laughs> I love this enormous piece of weathered limestone that that post will carve into there. So don't tell Greg, but we literally stole this out of the front pond. Like, we didn't have the boulder, so we took this out of the landscape out front. What is up, all you crazy people out there tuning into Team Aquascape? It is Chris, Matt, Matt, Corey, where is Corey? There he is. And we've got Ryan somewhere hiding here in the warehouse. What we are up to today is continuing to roll on getting this sandbox ready for the Artist of the Year tour that's coming in here for about eight weeks, right after the beginning of the year. A couple things that we're doing today is one, we are repairing our retaining wall that we did not beef up quite enough with dead men going back into the sand and we had a little bit of a blowout as we were running the machine through here. So it's better that we figure that out now and repair the problem before we start construction and here and it's just absolute chaos. So I would much rather find the problem, as you know from some of our other videos, ahead of time. With that being said, we're gonna repair this wall. You can also see we've got an enormous amount of sand that's dug out in a trench right, oh, how's my hand work? Like this, like this, there we go. Oh, oh, like this, I don't know. Oh, anyways, so there's an incredible amount of sand that was dug out for a trench. Now you can see that Matt, Corey, and Ryan, which you actually you haven't seen, but you can see that there's already some arborvitaes being placed along this retaining wall over here. We are going to continue those arbs all the way down towards me, or you, since you're right here viewing the screen. That's why all this sand is dug out in through here. We're gonna get those arbs in, get everything backfilled, and then we will refocus our energies on a couple of different things. One is we need to get this patio area prepped for the hardscape guys that are coming in tomorrow to lay a patio that will be a permanent feature here that is the landing area coming in and out of the shedster. We also need to place this big boulder right here where we want it to be. We want to orient it. We need to lift it up a little bit, flatten it off, and then we are going to grind out an area right here for a big cedar six by six that will be a post for the pergola that's going to be an L-shaped pergola that comes this way and then goes back. Another post is going to have to go here and then another one back over there probably tied into the wall or into that planting bed that's back there again those are going to be the exterior posts for this l-shaped pergola so we need to get that stuff in place so that these shedster guys can keep rolling get their pergola built and we're not keeping them from doing any of the exterior work that needs to happen in order to get this place buttoned up before the artists of the year get here another thing that we need to do is we need to rework this retaining wall over and through here last night brian myself and the guys were going through kind of the overall vision and scope of the sandbox and we came to the conclusion that this is probably a little bit too big of a planting area as it would be unnecessary to really have all of this together. We do think that we need a large evergreen or something of that nature right here to scale down the shed as well as block the view of some of these doors. But ladies and gentlemen, we also need to leave access to get in through here because we are gonna have a ramp that leads us up into the sandbox so that we can get material up in here. And right now we don't have the room from this wall to the garage door for for our machine so we need to bring this wall in a couple feet and then we're just going to make it smaller and probably move this corner over to about there just to give us plenty of room to work in through here so we're always thinking logistics when we're designing this stuff as well what else that's going to be the goal for today you can see we've already got the dead men back in we're going to put another one up on the top course right next to it we'll leave space in between for one of the arborvitaes so we're going to continue those that way and then once we're done with all of the dirt work or should i say sand work we are going to build a proper planter, raised planter, going from this section of the deck over, it'll be an L shape and wrap around. So it'll be like a window box that drops down about 12 inches below the sill of that window and runs the length of the house that way. Also goes that way where you can see all of the soffit and stuff sitting right now. That's what we're gonna do there. And then we've got to refocus our energy back over here. Before we do anything here or against the house, I wanna kind of work our way back towards us and get all of this stuff buttoned up first. Let's go.
We're making magic happen. <laughs> we're making magic happen right there. Earlier in the video, we talked about some of the punch list things that we were trying to get done today. We got the arms done, which are most of them, which looks great. We've got our boulder set for the post. Looks like they're working on the pergola now. You made the decision to work on this, which is smart, while we have the machine right here. What's the purpose of these boulders right here, Bry? Well, we want to get a big tree right in here, or a grouping of trees in there. Yep. And I want rocks up as high as the yellow part of the post. Okay. The soil to hide all that. And we can drop our big trees in here and our plants. Now some of these trees are actually going to be permanent. We're going to water them every other day and, and try to keep them alive in here for the next two and a half months. We'll get these set. I also want these ones set so the patio guy knows exactly where he needs to cut his patio to fit around some of this stuff. Gotcha. So I saw you just moving the right corner of that rock back. Is the patio going to line up yeah, to yeah, the yeah. back? Come check this out. Okay, cool. We can bring our patio into this and then into here. It forces the patio guys to cut the patio around it. I like doing that because it makes the rocks look like they were born here. And to do that, you have to use a huge boulder. Yeah. And the option is, instead of moving this giant rock, let's just look, make the rock look like it took a bite out of the patio, yeah. right? It's the little details that make it look so much It better. makes the hardscape guys look lazy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll do that. We're actually changing the patio shape now, which is something we do all the time. Yep. this patio gonna come and kind of curve out like this. Yep. And maybe we'll still do that. Uh, wait, you'll find <laughs> out the suspense has gotta be killing you, right? Will it be a curved patio or a straight bed? I don't know. <laughs> I love this enormous piece of weathered limestone that that post will carve into there. So don't tell Greg, but we literally stole this out of the front pond. Like we didn't have the boulder, so we took this out of the landscape out front. But yeah, this is, we're gonna notch this out. Big cedar timber will actually fall right in here and tie the whole pergola together, which is gonna look amazing. That's Again, awesome. It's the little details. Awesome. One thing we didn't talk about earlier in the video, and you and I talked, which we didn't get on camera, maybe we should have that conversation. Now we wanna build like a Thomas waterfall. We wanna build up on this huge tree trunk right here so like I'm picturing, I'm picturing the soil coming up here sometimes I'm picturing it coming up here. sure but regardless come up at any elevation it gives us a berm to kind of work with whether to do a waterfall towards the house or yep. do a waterfall towards the shed we just need that berm yep so we'll get that in there and as we start raising that just like we would be outside we don't want it to look like an anthill if we come up this high over here we don't want to take the soil and come down like this right because it'll look volcanic yep or like so we want that soil to kind of taper down to here. So we had all these outcroppings left over from 15 years of building water features. Yep. The spring cleaning we did yep. back. The so closet we're cleaning. Come back in here and just kind of create a retaining wall. And it doesn't have to look super sexy or anything. It's got to be purposeful. Pur purposeful. Purposeful. That's a word. Purposeful, yeah. not so sexy. I should actually make my own dictionary. <laughs> for the viewers out there, what should Brian name his dictionary? Let's hear some creative titles for that. Nope. Let the viewers decide. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna finish kind of roughing in, getting the last of these couple big rocks in through here. And then are we thinking like a big evergreen, right? Is that one going there? Use that one. I don't see why not. Maybe we put that in there and then that holly is kind of in front of it. Yep. Coming down. We could take those other three R's. Sure. And put them here, here, here. Uh huh. Just to kind of yep. this space over here. All right. What is up everybody, Chris at Team Aquascape. We are back for another installment of what the heck we're doing in the warehouse this winter. So today we are going to, hi Maureen. Hi. <laughs> today we are going to be working on a couple construction elements for to kind of finish off what's going on in our warehouse studio sandbox area that you guys have seen in videos past. Today, I think, believe what Daniel and Micho are working on right now is figuring out material list to make a raised planter. I believe what we're gonna do is is kind of do an all white planter with kind of maybe some wainscoting or something on the front just to make it a little bit decorative but keep it very very simple just to kind of mimic the house but stay in the theme of what everything is going on here so we've got that right now Matt is watering the trees which is great because we're gonna have to do that on the regular every single day Brian has already notched out the area for that last six by six that will tie into the pergola this way so super happy about that another big thing that's going to happen today is it sounds like the patch Patio guys are going to come in and build out their patio, which is all that stone right over there. We also have to finish out this little plant pocket here and then build a brick wall to hold back all the sand on the outside so that we can butt that fence right up to it. That we can have a little berm or an elevated section there of landscape. 
just to soften up that pole and kind of hide it a lot better. The other major thing we're gonna do today is build our ramp. We've got going, so we've got planter, we've got ramp. We have to finish securing this log facade to the pole. So we're gonna run pipe straps around the back and really tie that thing together. So we've gotta finish that. We've gotta finish this. We've got the patio getting done. So we have major, major things happening today here at Aqualand, inside the warehouse, inside the Artist of the Year studio sandbox area. And you can tell I've had my coffee because I am talking super fast right now and I'm ready to roll. So these guys look like they're ready to roll too. Looks like it. Okay, good. There it is. Let's go. Yeah, man, rolling up another one. Yeah, man, rolling up another one. 